Hey, what's up guys? It's your boy Jerome. Uh, I thought I'd just hit you with a quick vlog. Um, uh, during this quarantine, it's been kind of weird having to work every day and, and sit in the house every day. And then after work, you're still sitting in the house and you're still kind of just staring at screens, whether it be TV or playing video games. And I thought I'd just kind of make a quick vlog on how to enjoy God during quarantine. Um, I feel like a lot of times we go on Instagram, I know I do sometimes, I just I just sit there and just scroll and you see all these people having such amazing times, people are going on hikes, people are getting married, people are, uh, I have a friend that's dating right now on during quarantine and she's meeting people and going out and stuff and it's kind of interesting and so it's really easy sometimes to start comparing yourself and your lack of doing things to what other people are doing and it could kind of be disheartening, right? You kind of feel like, man, God, how come my life is so boring during quarantine where other people's lives seem to at least be somewhat fun and somewhat like, exciting and some new things are happening. And so I just kind of want to share with you guys some of the things that the Lord's been sharing with me. And <laughs> the lesson is really simple and it's simply this, man, that, that God has called us to just enjoy the moment right? Um, I know that I've been talking a lot about waiting in some of my other videos on Instagram and I'm waiting on God and God's timing on hearing God's voice, what it means uh, to know God and all those things. And I think and with all of those things included in this conversation, I think the best thing we can do sometimes is just uh, take a step back and just be thankful for where we're at today. To be thankful that we're healthy, to be thankful that we're with family or with friends or that we have a house to go to or food in our stomach, right? To be thankful for the good things that God has brought to us and to be thankful for the friends that he's given us, even if we can't go and hang out with them as much as we would like to. Um, so I was kind of just thinking about this topic and I kind of went to, uh, came to Ecclesiastics, right? Ecclesiastes. Um, and Solomon just talks about, he says it over over and over again how after after being the wisest man in the world right after experimenting with all types of things right because Solomon's kind of crazy when you read through Ecclesiastes he comes to the conclusion that the best thing that we can do in our lives is to simply go hang out with friends to go go eat to go drink and to just enjoy life and to enjoy the work that we're doing right that's very simple um, advice for someone who was the richest man to ever live, for someone who had, I think, like thousands of wives, for someone who literally could do anything that he ever wanted to do at the at the drop of a dime, he came down to the, the conclusion that the, the best thing for us to do is to simply go hang out with friends, go hang out with family, to go out and eat and drink, and to just enjoy life and to enjoy the present moment. And so I know during this quarantine, a lot of us can't really go out and eat and drink, but we can go on Zoom and hang out with our friends. We can go and maybe do hikes with one or two people. We can be thankful for the people that we do have in our lives. And sometimes that's the best thing that you can do for your soul, man, during these times of quarantine. So I hope that encourages you guys to maybe just uh, to take a step back and to just relax, man. The quarantine is not going to last forever. Uh, this season will pass, this storm will pass, right? Um, and to just enjoy the moment and to enjoy the opportunities that are present today. Uh, so I hope that blesses you guys. Um, love to connect with you guys on YouTube or Instagram, wherever you're watching this. Leave a comment below and let's link up. All right, guys, I'll talk to you later. Peace.